dad was a coach growing up. My mom played at West Virginia. Had me around basketball pretty much all the time. So it wasn't forced upon me, but it was just always kind of there in the same way. And you know, if you're in Durham or if you're in North Carolina at all, you kind of have to have an opinion on basketball. I love it. I'm ecstatic for the season. Route 29 cuts through the heart of Virginia, an artery to its southern neighbor, North Carolina. It is quite literally Tobacco Road. Through the leafy fields and pastoral pockets of life, it's the way home for Jay Hoff, back to his close-knit family, his childhood friends, and a place steeped in tradition with a modern sensibility. It's the Bull City, Durham. He was always excitable, like whether it was Christmas morning, there was that excitement, or a really good pretzel from a German bakery that we would go to. So he just always could find the fun in anything. He tried track, he played baseball, he was a pitcher. He was a very good swimmer until he was 12, and that's when he decided maybe the early mornings or the cold water in the winter was not for him. It was eighth or ninth grade before he said basketball is the number one sport for me. I remember telling him one time, or probably more than one time, it's like, I will help you any way that, that you want me to help you, and I will push you as hard as you want to be pushed, but it really has to come from you. When I was coaching, I never labeled a kid that, oh, well, you're a point guard, and you're a center, or you're anything else. I was like, okay, if you can dribble the ball, you can dribble the ball. If you can shoot the ball, you can shoot the ball. And, and so Jay grew up just being a basketball player. He always would raise his game to play against the better players. And we played Sasha Clay Jones or Dan Adebayo. And I remember the Virginia coaches and just commenting on how he just had that a little bit of nastiness about him, that, that competitiveness that I'm not sure where it came from. Jay's diverse talents had attracted a who's who of college basketball, including hometown Hall of Fame coach Mike Krzyzewski. Ultimately, Huff eschewed every offer, save that of one, Tony Bennett. Despite flashes of brilliance and exploits that border on urban myth, Jay has had to be patient for his opportunities. It was perhaps his return to Duke last year that provided him and his family a realization of the process and its possibilities. Until Virginia called, we had no idea that half the ACC might be after him or that a lot of these big schools. I mean, he was a die-hard Duke fan playing at Duke last year. You know, his dream was to play in Cameron in front of the Cameron Crazies. I think his first points, he dunked. And I thought, that's all I needed. He dunked in Cameron, and then he dunked again. And I was on cloud nine, and even when he came out, I know he was sitting there thinking, put me back in, put me back in. But the first thing I said is, you played in Cameron, and you played awesome. You know, how many people get their childhood dream fulfilled? Durham certainly bleeds blue, but it's no monolith. Settled just south of the Eno River and founded around a railroad depot, trade, commerce, and the innovation they bring are integral parts of its DNA. When the tobacco industry slowed from regulation, textiles and power pushed progress forward. Despite, but perhaps due to deep-seated segregation, Durham became a bastion of African-American entrepreneurs and a hub for the modern civil rights movement. Once known as Black Wall Street, today, Parish Street is part of a bustling downtown. Its businesses are a reflection of Durham's innovation and tradition. Here, you'll find a frequent Huff family haunt, Bull City Burger and Brewery. When you walk down the street and you see people, like they're smiling and being friendly, and it's crazy how small it feels while still being a pretty big city. Being here on Parish Street and being so close to the center of downtown Durham, it's really important to us and we're really proud that we can be a part of the growing Durham community. And we serve pasture-raised beef burgers with all of the ingredients made in-house. We open at 6 a.m. with the bakers coming in to bake the fresh buns. We grind our own beef. We start with cucumbers and pickle them in-house. We're really dedicated to quality products and serving really fresh, great food. I will tell you I'm a Duke fan, so it breaks my heart a little bit to see someone who was born and raised in Tobacco Road to go to Virginia, but obviously he's chosen a great school and um, I hope that he is very successful there. Come on. Boo. I'm getting more like 
acclimated to these burgers. I know the first few times we came here, we would leave and like just go pass out <laughs> on the couch, <laughs> but we've gotten more reasonable. That must be it. <laughs> Home isn't just a place, it's people, and Jays are true blue, whether of the Blue Devil, Carolina, or Jefferson variety. Despite athletic accolades, accomplishments, and national championships, those friendships won't ever waver. Tonight, it's blacktop basketball, a bonfire, and a chance for old friends to rekindle a bond. Jay loves being a friend, and he loves his friends, so that's one of the most important things in his life to him. So they come here, and they go upstairs, and there's a lot of silliness, and sometimes I'll walk by and hear these deep theological conversations, and I'm like, are those the same kids that were just out there, you know, shooting airsoft guns at something in the backyard? And they're just true blue friends. They will always be friends. That was probably the hardest thing about going to Virginia for him was that he wasn't gonna be in Durham. You know, he looks forward to coming back here and hanging out. That is like the worst fire I've ever seen. Jake, watch out, Jake, watch out. There we go. <laughs> right. That was a good shot. I know that was a good shot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Just kidding. Not gonna do that, coach. Yeah. This is a really big fire. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a problem at some point, but for now we're good. Tradition is a guide not a jailer. Durham has deep roots and a complicated history. Vestiges visible today, yet it is growing, changing, transforming. In this way, Jay Hupp is just the same. Not just a classic big man from the heart of basketball country, there's more. He's a passer, a shooter, a competitor, a student, a true friend. Durham won't define him, neither will Charlottesville, or even basketball for that matter. They're just important markers along the way. Those five pillars, even if we didn't state them that maybe that way, those were things that he grew up with. Being there has helped probably strengthen those things in him. He's about more than just basketball, and if something happened and basketball was taken away from him, he's gonna have a great life anyway because he's just, he's a great person and just a heart for young people and things like that. Now, we feel like he's made an impact at Virginia uh, more than just as a basketball player, and we think he'll continue to do that. The great thing is Jay, Jay is Jay. He's always been Jay and it, nothing is changing who he is. Jay Hoff, Durham, North Carolina.